Hey guys, welcome to your uh, bonus no contact reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the rest of your October uh, 2024. So um, we're going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to a person that you're in no contact with. Apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. It could be the uh, person that you're in no contact with is um, wondering this about you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and want to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so you guys, let's get started here. So tell me about Sagittarius, the person that Sagittarius is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Sagittarius to reach out to a person that they're in no contact with? Like I said, you could switch it. It could be the person that you're in no contact with is wondering about you, okay? For Sag, Sagittarius here. So we have the Eight of Wands here and we have the Six of Cups. Oh yeah, um, here's the thing. Um, I do believe that if you don't reach out to this person here, Sagittarius, this person will reach out to you. This person is missing you very, 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 very much here, Sagittarius, with the Eight of Wands here in the Six of Cups. We also have the uh, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual here that hasn't been able to let you go here. You know, with the Ace of Swords here, you know, they could be experiencing some sort of breakthrough here or that they're getting some sort of clarity here that, you know, they want to be with you. They miss you a lot here, okay? And I feel like this person feels like they want to clear the air. They want to get things off their chest here, okay? Um, and do you feel like whoever this is, you know, this person feels like they're really possessive of you here too with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands. Here's the thing, you know, when I see a lot of Knights here, this is an indication that this person is very flighty, very in and out, very fickle here. This is a very difficult energy to, uh, to you know, deal with here because it's one of those instances where, you know, this person is telling you that they love you, they want to be with you, but then this person's like all over the place here. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Gil, Sagittarius, Energy, the Eight of Wands here, and also we have the Two of Swords, we have the Six of Cups here, and also we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like they're spying on you, watching you here. I mean, if this person is trying to communicate here with you, um, Sagittarius, you know, I do feel like you're going to block this person here or that this person has been blocked here. This person's wishing, this person's really hopeful that, you know, there could be a second chance here or that there could be a reconciliation. Yeah, this person is really hopeful and this person is really optimistic about it here. You know, this could be an indication that you guys are just going within. You guys are really closed off here and that you guys are really focusing on your healing here. We have the world card here and the ace of, uh, swords we have the justice card here and the knight of pentacles here so you know i do feel like this is an individual here that's definitely coming in to speak their truth here here's the thing i don't feel like this person's going to bring in a whole lot a whole lot of balance into your life or that whatever is going on here it could be just really unfair here you know uh, you know what this person has done here you know i do feel like this person with the six of wands here is very much sort of like stuck in their ego here or that this person is looking for attention here okay this person just likes the attention uh what else do we have for for sag what will happen if there's any sort of communication between sagittarius and the person that they are in no contact with for october 2024 Rest of October 2024 for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, we have the Five of Cups. Page of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. The High Priestess, Cancer Pisces. King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Six of Pentacles here. Okay, so Six of Pentacles. 
You know, I do, I do feel like this person wants to tell you that they love you here. I feel like this person also wants to tell you that they're sorry, that they acted very immaturely here. Okay. Yeah, whoever this is, you know, I do feel like this person's definitely trying to manifest here with you, Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to make things happen here with you. We have the, a page of wands here too, in the devil card. Seems like this person's really obsessing over you. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this person's definitely using manipulation here to win you back. But I feel like whatever they're trying to do, whatever games that they're trying to play here, you know, I feel like it's just not going to work on you here, Sagittarius. We have the High Priestess here and the King of Wands. Aries, little Sagittarius energy. Seems like they're still very passionate about you. They're in love with you. Seems like this person's making plans here with you. Okay? Or that they ha have plans here with you with the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay? I do feel like, the, you know, whoever this is, you know, this person could be really facing their karma here. Or that, you know, it could be a situation that, you know, you if you have been dealing with the karmic here, you're letting this karmic go. With the King of Swords here. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? And the Strength card, Leo Energy. Six of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. We, ha we have all four kings that are out. So, I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, this person's trying to mature. This person's trying to grow here. You know, this person's definitely trying to do some introspection, self-reflection here. So, you know, this could be an indication that this person's learning some big lessons here. Okay. Uh, you know, or that this person is just trying to, like, energetically manipulate you into coming back around to them. Four cups here. It does seem like, you know, they're looking for another opportunity here with you here, Sagittarius. Yeah, um, you know, I feel like this is you here. You're just not really paying any sort of attention to this individual here and that you're sort of, like, letting this go. Uh, yeah, we, we have two tens here. So I feel like for you, a cycle is closed out here because I feel like you don't want to play games. And also you uh, you just want to focus on your healing here at this time. And that you want to free yourself from the situation from this person here. Because this person could be very controlling here. Or that this person also wears many different masks. You know, it's because I feel like this person's energy could really confuse you, like I said. Okay? Yeah, you're totally moving on. It's just, seem, I mean, you're totally moving on from this here. You know, it just seems like this person's energy is a bit stuck here, you know, not really moving forward. And I feel like you're in a really good place here where you're meeting a bunch of a bunch of new different people here, okay? Perhaps the, the kings are a representation that, you know, you're out there meeting new people here, but right now at this time, you know, you're not really looking for anything serious here, okay? So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.